What's going on guys? Episode 7, 10,000 hours project. It's currently Wednesday morning and it is 9.30 a.m. Now I did a foundational strength uh, lower body session earlier this morning around 6.30 a.m. Don't worry, I've got a voiceover for it as I haven't done one yet for my lower body section. It will get straight to that in a second. But just quickly guys, I've got a feedback section in the comment section below and what I want to know is are you guys confused with my training schedule are you interested in seeing my training schedule like before the vlog starts should I have my weekly schedule up explaining what I'm doing for that day uh, both technically athletically was that something that's not as important for you guys and you'd rather just see the training sessions alone please let me know in that feedback comment section below it's you guys that will help make this series a success I want to give you guys value I want to provide you as much value as I can on this channel and along this project. Now this part of the vlog is going to be a little mixed up as yesterday I completed my testings and I didn't end up getting that footage out to you quick enough so it's going to be in this vlog but I'll show you the footage now. So I ended up getting my power, acceleration and agility tests in yesterday. I won't go too in depth with it but for the power aspect of things I did a broad jump, a unilateral jump, I was just testing my leg power unilaterally so how strong is my right leg, how strong is my left leg, and just give me a good indication of the balance of power and strength between each leg and see where I can tweak my training program to try and get them in balance. Then I did an acceleration test, so just a basic 30 meter sprint um, for three repetitions. And lastly, I just did the Illinois test, so obviously that covers the agility aspect of the game. Now the whole reason behind these testings is to really give an indication of where I'm at and give me an idea of my progress as I move forward. And I talked about this in my first vlog, I think the strength vlog, and I feel like recording certain tests and athletic movements that you might come across in a football game, that really gives me a sense of improvement that my training program is working and all my hard work isn't for nothing. Now I know it's not for nothing, but it gives me confidence knowing I'm progressing every day. So again, I highly advise you guys incorporate uh, testings into your training program. Also in the next few training logs over the next week or two, please indicate um, if you're undergoing some testings or if you have done some testings. If you're comfortable with it, please show your results in your training log as well. And then, you know, in a month or two down the track and you retake those tests, you can see if you're actually improving or not. Now, if you want to see how I perform these tests, I'll put a link above because I also did the exact same testing in 2017. So I'll leave that up here if you're ever considering going through the tests that I'm going through and I explain why I'm doing these tests, um, the reps, the sets and whatnot. So I'll leave that link up there. And just lastly, I ended up doing three hours of training yesterday. So I got one hour of testing in a general conditioning session straight after and then I had a team training session. Uh, we worked on some finishing. So three hours in total. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the foundational strength session. Alright, so today is a lower body foundational strength session. I'm just starting on the stationary bike, doing a warm up for five minutes to get the blood flowing through my legs. Now to start with, I'm doing the barbell squat, and as you can see, I've got no weights on. It's just one warm up set for 10 repetitions. Now you've heard me say this before, and I'll say it again. Make sure you do a warm up set. Injury prevention is really important, guys. So now we're starting to get into it. So I'll try and do 12 repetitions with 50 kilos, and I do three sets in total with one minute rest in between. As you can see, my phase one results, I got 45 kilos, 15 repetitions. And this week I've lifted the weight up by five kilos, but only hitting 12 reps. And the reason I've lifted the weight is just to prepare myself for the maximal strength phase coming up in two weeks time. Okay, I'm just doing the sit up. So you guys saw this in my last vlog for the upper body strength session. I'm just doing the exact same training volume, trying to hit 20 repetitions for three sets. And as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, my core is probably the weakest part of my body at the moment due to my recent hernia surgery. So I'm really trying to bring that up. Now move on to the deadlift. So exact same training volume as the squat, three sets, 12 repetitions at 50 kilos. Now the reason being, I want my quadriceps and hamstrings directly in balance with each other in terms of strength and power. As if one overrides the other, the other one is very susceptible to injuries and you see this all too often in football. Lastly, just moving on to calf raises. So three sets, 15 repetitions at 80 kilos. Now the calf raises also help with my ankle stability and strength. And again, just gradually and progressively moving that weight up in preparation for maximal strength phase. 
Alright, so it's currently 10 a.m. at the moment, and I haven't showed you what I had for breakfast yet, so it's just the same. I've just had my cereal and fruit, um, and post workout, I had my berry protein shake, and an hour later, I also had my eggs on toast. Not with just beans this time. As you can see, I've got some bit of capsicum, a bit of carrot in there, a bit of variety this time. So we're going to get some video editing done for an hour, then we're going to head to the gym at around midday. Um, I want to get a light dribbling slash ball mastery session in this little space up at the gym where you can do some ball work. Makes it a bit of sense to do it indoors. It's like 35 degrees outside in the middle of the day. Very humid. Okay, so I'll see you guys for that light technical session at the gym. Alrighty, let's get it. Alright, so currently midday at the moment, performing a light ball mastery and dribbling session here as I've already done a heavy leg taste and plus I've got training afterwards. So I really want to take this training session light, but I want to get a lot of touches and making sure I focus on each touch. As you saw in my last vlog, I do my typical 500 juggling routine. I'm performing five different variations ranging from alternating feet to two touch, alternating feet to 10 touch alternating feet, then to eventually progress to 50 touch alternating feet. And I do highlight the importance of training both your weak foot and your dominant foot in my last vlog. And for the last variation, I'm kicking the ball onto my thighs, just with a different focus in which to direct my touch. Next, moving on to a bit of ball mastery, so V-taps. Now, each side of the square equals 10 repetitions. As you can see, I'm turning. So, one full rotation should equal 40 repetitions, and that counts as one set. I do three sets in total. And, of course, we always do our weak foot as well, guys. Now, the hopping from the non-contact foot is actually really helping with my ankle rehabilitation. It's really just strengthening the tendons in each ankle. It's also applying some strength endurance elements to the drill. Now moving on to the figure eight section of ball mastery. So I'm just performing toe taps here and one rotation around the square equals one set. Now I do five sets in total. Next I head onto the bell taps variation and again completing five sets in total trying to draw that number eight around the four cones. The final progression here is the V-taps incorporated with a few ball rollovers and small tight space dribbling elements. And again, one rotation equals one repetition. I do five sets in total. This next one is a bit of an advanced ball mastery drill. I like to incorporate different elements or different combinations of different ball mastery techniques. And really just helps with the muscle memory. So when I get on the pitch, you know, I don't really have to think of how to get out of tight situations. My feet will just do the work for me. Now the final drill of the session is my absolute favorite, the thousand touches linear drill. This is a great light intense dribbling drill that you can perform on your recovery days as well. So I perform five variations. As you can see now, the first variation, I'm just gonna get as many touches as I can as I weave in and out of the cones using both the inside and outside of my foot. Now the second variation is linear ball taps. Again, really put an emphasis when I tap the ball inside and when you really have a change of speed. So speed manipulation is really important in this drill. Now going up and back counts as one repetition. I've got to complete five reps in total before I move on to the next variation. Now the thousand touches drill is great for your overall tight space dribbling. It's your ability to keep the ball nice and close to you and really try to focus on a touch step rhythm as you dribble the ball. So you don't give the defender a chance to take the ball away from you. Back home, I just had some lunch as you guys saw. I had some turkey mince with some vegetables and some rice. You could call it a turkey stir fry. Portion size was a bit bigger. So I actually packed 53 grams of protein in that meal. And the reason why I'm increasing the protein is because today I'm going to be doing a total of five hours of training, and especially over the last few days as well. I've been increasing my training volume. So it only makes sense to add that extra protein and carbohydrates and extra calories and nutrients to aid in my recovery process. I've also added one of my 
magnesium tablets as well just to aid with my recovery further. That's pretty much it for today guys. It's hitting about 2.20 p.m. at the moment which means I gotta head in for work. Then I got team training at 7 p.m. tonight and straight after that I'm gonna do a general conditioning session for one hour and you'll probably see a quick time lapse of that as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's sessions guys. I hope it brought some value to you and you can incorporate some of my drills into your training. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video guys, please hit that thumbs up button. It takes a few seconds out of your day. It really supports this channel, helps me grow, helps the project grow and uh, helps reach other people as well. Anyway, if you're new to this space, please subscribe and join the project as well. Information is in the description on how to join the project. Anyway guys, I look forward to hearing your feedback and your training logs. I'll see you on the next vlog. Catch you later. Light on my neck, light on my mind I'm on my grind, it's only right that I flex Come through all new, they can tell that I'm next Life's cool, who are you? Ain't a question I get I came out the town, I'm still holding them down